Good morning, everyone. How are you today? I hope that you're all doing well. I hope that you're having a good morning so far. You know, it's really a blessing to be alive again, and it's a privilege for us to go through the Word. This morning, we will be reading from two chapters. We will be reading first from Deuteronomy chapter 1, 16 to 18, and then Deuteronomy chapter 16, reading verse 18 to 20. So chapter 1, 16 says, And I charge you, judges, at that time, saying, Hear the causes between your brethren, and judge righteously between every man and his brother, and the stranger that is with him. Verse 17 says, Ye shall not respect persons in judgment, but ye shall hear the small as well as the great. Ye shall not be afraid of the face of man, for the judgment is God's. And the cause that is too hard for you, bring it unto me, and I will hear it. 18 says, And I commanded you at that time all the things which ye shall do. Amen. Now we go to chapter 16, and verse 18 says, Judges and officers shall thou make thee in all thy gates, which the Lord thy God giveth thee, throughout the tribes, and they shall judge the people with just judgment. 19 says, Thou shall not risk judgment, thou shall not respect persons, neither take a gift, for a gift doth blind the eyes of the wise, and pervert the words of the righteous. 20 and last says, That which is altogether just shall thou follow, that thou mayest live and inherit the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. And I say, Amen. Indeed, it's a privilege to always read God's word. And now we are diving into the word of God once more. And as we read the word of God this morning, we are given stern warnings as it relates to judgment and how we execute judgment. The Lord is is saying to us that we should execute judgment in a fair manner. The, the verse states that we must not show favor when it comes on to judgment. And when I say not to show favor, I am not saying that you cannot be merciful and you can't show grace. That's not what I'm saying because a good judge also show mercy. But what I am saying is that you cannot be biased. You have to be fair, okay? We must not be afraid of any face. The Bible says that we must be no respecter of person. In other words, it doesn't matter if it is our friend or a complete stranger that stand before us. We must be fair at all times. And especially when you are placed in a position of authority. I mean, it goes for everybody, but I'm emphasizing that those who are in authority, who everyone is looking up to, must always make good examples when it comes on to executing judgment. Remember, we are an extension of God and and so, in other words, whatever judgment we execute, God must be pleased with that verdict at the end of the day. Because God is a righteous judge and God judge fairly. God doesn't treat one person this way and another person that way, but he treat all of us the same. So if we mess up, we are going to be punished accordingly or we will bear the consequences accordingly. And so, when we are put in a position of authority, whether we are a judge, whether we are an officer of the court, any form of authority that we command, we must make sure that we bring integrity and fairness and righteousness to that office. The Bible also states that we must not accept any kind of gift when it comes on to those kind of things. So, in our time, you, you will hear a lot of words like bribe or payoffs. And we know a lot of that take place 
in different areas and different scenarios. But that is a very poor example of good judgment. Anyone that accepts any form of payment or gifts won't be able to execute the office that they have been called to or to, to fairly execute judgment because the mind is now tainted. It is now corrupt. It cannot make a rational choice because it is swayed by material possession. So, Instead of executing the fear a fear judgment, all you're thinking about is the thousand dollars that, that you get behind the scene to look the other way or whatever the gifts might entail. And so that is unacceptable by anyone and should never be allowed. And that is why God frowns upon such a person who practice that form of justice. And here's the truth. A person that is willing to accept a bribe or to accept a gift just to show leniency will never be able to execute fair judgment because they are always going to be biased to the person that paid them off. And so we who are in a position are those who are in a position of authority. And it doesn't have to be anybody in authority. Any one of us can be placed in that position. As a matter of fact, we are oftentimes in that position, right? For parents, you have your children to deal with. You can't be biased against one child. For those who are employers, you can't be biased. For those who are leaders in the church, you can't be biased. It doesn't matter where you are in life or what position you command. You must always make sure that you are walking in line as it relates to righteous judgment and also and bias and so it is very important for all of us to grasp the gravity and the seriousness of this matter because the word of god says if we fail to execute righteous judgment and remember that we're acting on god's behalf and if we fail to execute judgment righteously we will suffer the consequences and so let us remember that in everything that we do we are representing God. We are not representing ourselves. And so every one of us in authority and those who are not in authority must always, always be fair, be unbiased. I'm not saying that we should gun down anybody or, you know, we should persecute anybody or to rip anybody a new one. All I am saying that at the end of the day, make sure that whatever judgment you execute, it is fear and that you are not questioned by the word of God or you are not found in the balance wanting. That's all I'm saying. So whether it is your friend, whether it is your spouse, whether it is your boss, whether it is your minister, your pastor, your elder, anybody, it doesn't matter who they are, never take sides. Always be neutral. Your responsibility is to find out the truth and to act according to the truth. So if it is your friend that is telling the truth, then the truth will vindicate your friend. Now, if it is uh, another person that is telling the truth, then the truth will also vindicate that person. The truth do not need any advocate. It can stand on its own. All we need to do is to exercise the muscles of truth, if that's a way I can put it. So don't try to, to squeeze truth in a box because it cannot be contained. It will burst wide open. So just give it room to do its thing. So be fair. So, so whatever investigation you need to do to get to the bottom of the truth, don't assume don't take side. The only side you should take or I should take is the side of the truth. Any other side is unacceptable. Truth and truth only. And when you can follow the direction of the truth, you will be able to judge righteously. And then at the end of the day, you can hold your head up high without any shame, knowing that you act according to the word of God. So may God continue to give us wisdom. May God continue to inspire our hearts and may he lead us as we seek to follow his direction as it relates to executing righteous 
uprightness and fairness amongst each other. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Amen.